Hi, Chris here from Cheshire Lines. And following my last video about the detailing of the inside of APT coaches, I've been asked by a couple of people how I went about actually disassembling the coach to begin with. So this is just a short video to show how I actually did that. So before we start, there's gonna be a few things you need, a little receptacle to keep screws in, a Phillips screwdriver for small screws, and some plastic shims to help lever the clips in the coach. I've just used a cut up credit card there. So just to show you what the inside of the coach actually looks like and what we, what we need to do, there are four screws, two at either end that need to be undone. And then more importantly, there are six clips, uh, one in the center and then one halfway between the center and each end, and there's three on each side. Uh, and they lock into these small clips on the inside of the upper coach body, which um, those are what need to be levered outside the retaining clip at the bottom. Okay, so that's what we, we're trying to do is, is lever those clips. So let's have a look at one that's uh, all together. So for, first thing we need to do is unscrew the four screws at either end. So there are four screws and they're out of the way. What that does, it makes the, the two halves of the body a lot looser and you can put your fingernail in at the end just to lever it out. When you've got a gap, you can then insert one of the shims. And if you remember, the clips we need to do are halfway between the middle and the end of the coach. So we need to get to there, you can hear it click and then once you've got one lever, you can put the next one in and work and work down the coach. And there's the second one. And then there's a third one, which typically comes undone when you've done those first two, but there it is there. And then once you've got those in place and just keep, keep a couple in so they don't lock again, you can turn over and then do the same on the opposite side. And the coach is fairly robust. So there's one, take another one out from here. And you keep going along. And then it all comes apart like so. And then on here, you can see that I've rooted the wiring for the capacitor which I took out and the capacitor sits um, below the seats in this cavity here. If you want to, to remove this actual seating there is a screw just there and one here uh, and once those are removed the seating can come off uh, and that's essentially it. So to put the uh, coach back together it's a reverse situation but slightly easier so you're just placing the coach back on top and then you are gently clipping it all together like so you'll hear the clicks and then putting the four screws back at each corner of the coach and that's it 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 is a bit nerve-wracking to begin with especially if you don't know where the clips are but as you can see, it's relatively straightforward to do. Um, and the coach is relatively robust. Uh, so as long as you can get these shims into the gap, um, they, you can lever it quite well. Okay, I hope that helps everybody. Um, any questions, just leave a comment uh, below and I'll endeavor to give you the answers. So this is the driving trailer. Um, I thought I'd just show you how to disassemble this because this is slightly more complicated. Same principles apply, but this time you're probably going to need some tweezers with it. Uh, and that's because of the wiring. So these have got three screws to take out to begin with. Okay, 
those are the three screws out. And it's the same principle of using some plastic shims to unclip the uh, clips on the inside. So uh, put, your put your fingernail in, create a gap, uh, and then move along until you hear it snap out and you can move the shim along. So there's the second one. And keep the shim in and do another one. And that's, that's all three on that side done. And then it's the same principle on the other side. There's one. So the body comes off. So the thing just to note with the driving trailer is the extra wires that you've got uh, going on for the front lights um, and the pickups and then the capacitor. So uh, one thing to do is label which one is the going to the lighting board for the light, the roof lights. Um, you've got the cab lights here and you've got the pickups. And if you want to remove everything, you, you, you're going to have to unsolder the two pickups. So if you just unsolder here and here, that will free up these two wires to come out. That means you can unscrew the seating board here and at the back here, and then that pop that will come off. So when you put it all back together, you've got to thread those two wires back through underneath and then reattach them to the solder pads just on the pickups there. Um, so it's relatively straightforward to do, but you are going to need to do that to remove the uh, seating area. And then when you're putting it all back together, the thing to watch out for is the wires at the front. This is where your tweezers come in. So your wires have got to tuck it under into the blue console like so, but keeping them out of the way of the screw hole, which is just here. So if you just put them like that, and then you can put, put everything back together. And again, it's the same. You're just clipping it until it snaps, like so. Uh, you have that little gap, but that that will close once you have screwed everything back together, like so. And then the last two screws go at the back of the coach. Okay, and Humpty Dumpty is back together again. Uh, so hope that helps um, with understanding where all the clips are in the body and how best to use some plastic shims to uh, unclip everything. Uh, okay, uh, any questions, leave them in the comments below.